thought we'd make another video about handling stained glass. Uh, after the box arrives, uh, the best thing to do is before you touch any of the glass is make sure you have a place to put it. Uh, the best thing to do is either take the front of your box, which I put back here, or another piece of plywood, or a piece of wood, or anything that's a big flat surface and uh, put it on a wall. You want an angle on the wall so the glass leans against it. And we often put either a book or a piece of board in behind here. So, uh, that doesn't happen. So your best plan is take a board, or a book, and now this will always stay on an angle, and your glass, doesn't matter how many panels you put here, will not tip this over, and it's nice and safe. After you have a place to uh, put your glass, it's time to open your box, remove all the styrofoam in the way. Panels are here. Remove the front. And gently remove these. They're kind of wedged in here to hold the panels from sliding back and forth. Gently take these out. The best way to pick this panel up is always in the top third of the panel. Tip it towards you, grab it, and you can now walk with it. If you have a far distance to go with it, it's better to have a hand on the bottom. So what you can do is before you pick it up, find a spot where the lead lines are going into the panel, such as here, and you can grab it here. Not here where there is no lead line because you can actually pull the lead away from the glass if there's a long distance between solder joints. So you do not want to pick it up here. You pick it where there's a lead line. Lift it a little bit. Get your hand underneath. Put another hand back here. And now you can walk with it like this. And you can also rotate it in your hand if you need to. But walk with it like this. Hand on the bottom. Hand on the top. Again, to pick up one of the panels from a box, you can lift the panel here, and then pick it up like this with one hand on the bottom, one hand on the top, and you can even lean it against your shoulder or your body to give it a little bit more stability as you're walking with it. And then if you arrive in the building that it gets installed at, you can then go to your prepared wall, make sure the panel is against the wood on the bottom, and then let it fall back. I always make sure that when I put the panels back that the front of the panel is facing the outside which means the number is on the front, top right hand corner. So if you have the number there, you know the panel is straight up and down and uh, you can pick it up like this and install it directly into, uh, into your window sash. It's important to remember to always carry glass upright like this, never flat. Uh, glass panels are very flexible, but glass is not. So if you carry it flat, it will want to bend like this and break all your pieces of glass. So never flat, always upright like this or like this. So the hand on the top and the bottom or like this, like this. When you're handling a panel, sometimes you have to hand it off to another person. So if it's on the same level, 
you just walk up to them and they would grab on opposing corners where your hands are and then walk with it this way. But most likely this will have to go up on staging. Yep, all the way up here. So let's pretend that here the staircase is the staging. There's a platform above me here, and this is where the window is installed, which means uh, the number's top right-hand corner, and if I hand it up like this, it will already be facing the right way to be installed into the window, and it does not have to be turned up there, which is always sometimes tricky, especially with big panels. Same thing again, you wanna have half of the panel at least in your hand, like this. Walk up to the platform and pass it up like this. And then a person would be above there and grabbing it and as it would come up to them, they would be standing on the platform. This corner would come up to them like this. You would grab it here and here, bring it up, bring it on the platform like this. Rest it on your feet, get your hand underneath, and then pass it up to the next person until it's at the right level where it needs to be. It's always the best to carry it, one hand on the bottom, one on the top. The other option is in the top third, like this, leaving enough room for another person to grab it here, and you could go like this. It's a little bit trickier, you get less reach, than when you pass a corner up because they have more of a panel to grab. It doesn't really matter on the shape, the principle is the same. You either square panel, grab it on the top third, like this, or get your hand underneath it like this, walk with it, round top, same thing, Grab it on the sides, you can walk with it like this, or put one hand underneath, carry it like this, hand it up, or odd shapes, doesn't matter, you could carry it like this, or tip it a little bit, get your hand underneath, hand on top and bottom, and carry it like this, and hand up and down. Doesn't matter the shape, principle is the same. Always keep your panel upright and uh, support it with both hands. Okay, when unboxing or installing stained glass, you should never have to lay it flat. You should always just carry it upright like this. But if you absolutely need to lay it flat, the one way to do it is make sure that as you're holding it, you have the top and the bottom supported and the center supported by the table. So you go halfway on, on the panel to the table and then as the one side goes down, the other side goes up keeping pressure on it, and then push in like this. When you're trying to take it off the table, gently slide it off. Support this end, because if you don't, it will bend and crack. You always have to support this part here, and then switch your hands quickly. You don't want to let this hang for too long. Get on the other side, let one end drop, and pick the other side up, and bring it towards you and keep it steady on your body like this. I hope you found this helpful. And I will most likely post a few more of these videos to uh, help with stained glass related issues.